Hey guys, welcome to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Ghosts and the new weapons. <clears throat> or not new weapons, but the weapons that are going to be in the game. I apologize if you can hear anyone downstairs. So, the weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts are <clears throat> as follows. By the way, this is still a work in progress. This isn't the full list. It was updated last on the 21st of May. So it's the uh, 300 AAC Blackout Honey Badger. Um, there should be pictures for these as I talk about them, um, if I remember to put them in. If not, there'll be a link with all of the information in the description below. So either way, you can see these guns. <clears throat> anyway, so the uh, 300 AAC Blackout Honey Badger. There is also the uh, CZ or CZ 805 Bren. <clears throat> then obviously the uh, infamous um, AK-47 or the Glashnov, which is obviously the Russian assault rifle, which is in every single Call of Duty game apart from Black Ops 2, which was replaced with the, uh, uh, what was it called? I forgot the name. <laughs> um, anyway, <clears throat> um, then there's the ARX-160, or 160. <clears throat> Which looks quite interesting. By the way, I'm no gun specialist, so I have no idea what these guns are, unless I've seen them in the game before. <clears throat> then there's the TAR-21, which obviously was seen in Modern Warfare 2, and I believe the TAR was in Black Ops 2, but I don't play the game, so don't quote me on that. <clears throat> then there's the FAL DSW, or FAL SA-58 OSW, which is pretty much the same one which has been in... Uh, Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 2. Obviously, Black Ops was a bit different, different time era, but same kind of gun. <clears throat> then there's the APS Underwater Assault Rifle, which looks fairly interesting. So I don't know whether that would just be, you know, the um, for the campaign, or whether it'll actually be in the multiplayer, because if it's in the multiplayer, that should mean that there's underwater maps, which will be interesting, to say the least. Uh, by the way, these are all the assault rifles. <clears throat> then there is the M4A1, um, which is a possible placeholder, which is the uh, gun identical to the one in Modern Warfare 3. <clears throat> then we're going to move on to the SMGs, which there are only two of them at the moment, and that's the end of this weapon list. But remember, it's a work in progress, so as soon as it's updated, I will be making a new video to inform you of the new weapons. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go. The UMP45, which was seen... Sorry about that, I was just sitting in my ear, so I had to move the mic. Um, the UMP-45, which was seen in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. <clears throat> so, you know, that's an old one for the uh, Modern Warfare series, at least. But I guess it's coming back for Ghosts, which is always good. Then there's the Chris Vector, which is basically the same vector that was in Black Ops 2, I believe. There was a vector in Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 2. So, you know, it's kind of the same thing. So that's it for the weapons, at least. But what, do you, what weapons do you want to see? Do you want to see the old ones, which were in Modern Warfare 3? Or the old ones, well, the newish ones, which are in Black Ops 2? Because, I mean, it's still in the future, but I don't know how far in the future. I haven't really spent a lot of time looking at this <clears throat> game, but, you know. We will see what happens, I guess. But what do you want to see in this? Please leave your comments and thoughts in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.